All right, Giorgio Cappietto is the CEO of Gulf State Analytics and joins us to break this all down. Giorgio, first of all, what do you make of the president saying that Daesh is expected to be, his words were, gone by tonight? Uh, what do you make of that announcement and also the accompanying visual aid, which he proceeds to almost take credit for the fact that Daesh has been defeated in Syria? You know, it's a day and age of a lot of sound bites, uh, narratives that are summed up very quickly with just a couple of words. Uh, it's not really clear exactly what the president means by defeated. It's also true that um, not too long ago, he's also made basically the exact same claim. So if it was true weeks or months ago, um, you know, what explains his uh, recent remarks? We don't know. But what's clear is that the next year is 2020 and the president is in campaign mode. He is telling U.S. voters that when Barack Obama left the White House, ISIS had a lot of power in Syria and Iraq. And he sent out the message that because of his foreign policy, ISIS as a, an entity in the region is almost dead, basically very, very weak and doesn't pose too much of a threat anymore. Whether that's true or not, we can maybe talk about later. But nonetheless, that's the message from Trump. The maps would lead me to believe that obviously he's talking about the territorial losses of the terror group. But in actuality, they're still going to remain a huge threat. They're, they're going to go underground. Yeah, you know, the grievances and the conditions that gave rise to ISIS, unfortunately, have not changed. Uh, there are remnants of the Islamic State throughout Syria. Uh, there's no way that in a few hours that's going to change. Unfortunately, that's going to probably be a reality in Syria for uh, many years to come. But it is true that not only the U.S., but a whole host of state and non-state actors did essentially destroy the infrastructure of ISIS as a state entity. But again, we're going to be dealing with sleeper cells and the remnants of this extremist force for a long time to come. I think it's definitely premature for the president to declare that ISIS has been defeated in Syria. Where do you see U.S. involvement in Syria? He did reiterate in that announcement right there that the fact that there would be two groups of 200 U.S. soldiers remaining in Syria. Where do you see their role and involvement in Syria from here? Uh, it's pretty clear that the U.S. is not driving events in Syria. This is not new. This has been the case for many years. Um, I think there's good reason to debate um, the extent to which these remaining forces will be able to advance U.S. interests in Syria. If ISIS is going to have a resurgence, probably a lot more than 200 or 400 U.S. troops would be required. Uh, it's, it's unclear what role the remaining uh, U.S. presence is going to have in Syria. All right, Giorgio Caffiero, appreciate you being with us. Thanks Thank for that. You.